for the very first time, climate and energy issues have become a major issue in the governor's race. So that's very important. And today, uh, we have dropped off over 90,000 petitions to the governor to take action on reducing carbon pollution. So we want to have a, a very strong clean power plan for the state of Florida. Today's actions, delivering these petitions to our state capital and legislature, made clear to our elected leaders that climate change and energy policy is no longer a discussion for tomorrow, it is an issue for today. The weather will be affected too. The summers will get warmer and the winters will get hotter. So it's time to fight against climate change. We have oh, now over 91,000 signatures from folks all around Florida who also see the effects of climate change in our state. We ask the governor today to jump on board and help Florida to develop a plan to reduce carbon pollution. But I think when they find elected officials that are siding with the big polluters, the big monopoly utilities, and giving them rate increases while they're raising people's electric bills, I think that gets people pretty mad, and that's what we've seen here. The power uh, companies are on a building binge. They want to build power plants. They're asking to completely gut their energy efficiency and conservation goals. So unless we have political leaders standing up to them and standing up for the people rather than their big corporate contributors, then we're going to have people voting on those issues because they're pocketbook issues.